Hello healers! Thanks for joining me today in this in this video and this reading. This is going to be a love reading for September. What can you expect in September regarding love? Pick a card, alright? So we actually have lovely cards here today and uh, like always the description will be below of the ones I'm using. Thanks for all the new subscribers, thanks for clicking um, in this video in liking uh, leave a comment and uh, ask me for any other types of uh, videos or readings you want me to do and I'll be happy to do it and um, again just uh, concentrate like I always say uh, think about your love life in September concentrate and pick one of the options all right so the first group will be this lovely globe here this is actually a uh, globe from uh, France, if you can see here the tower, all the details are there. The second one is this lovely candle. I don't know if you can see this is actually a candle. And the third option is the gondola from Venice. Right, this look, I don't know if you can see, but that's what it is. Okay. So meditate a little bit on your love life. Choose one and come back to me. Alright, all the description of the timestamp will be below. Thank you. If you are the group number one and if you chose this lovely globe from Paris, the city of love, all right, we will leave it here to help us as well. Okay, I'll give you, it's a mix of uh, tarot and oracle cards and just so you know, I prayed on them. I did not choose them myself. I prayed them and mixed them and the higher powers chose them for you, okay? So we have here, your first card is actually the full card. Hopefully you can see here. Second card, uh, ten of wands. Third card, the knight of wands. All right. I'll, I'll talk about this tree first. And uh, so what I see here regarding love for September for you, right, is, is that doesn't matter if you're single or married, this is going to be a leap of faith, right? So the full here is representing a leap of faith, um, new beginning, and uh, if you wanted to just uh, go with the, with the flow and uh, take that leap of faith in something new or maybe a new chapter for you if you're already with someone, and um, go for it. There will be some new beginnings, some new changes in September for you. And some. It, this is a good card. It's a good thing. Because I feel like this, it, there was a burden. Alright. So this, this card here is representing like you carrying a burden and um, not sharing. And um, this is more about you um, starting over and uh, start sharing. Because that's what you need here with with this Ten of Wands is to start sharing this burden and be more into a partnership if you're already with someone. If you are a single, this means you're going to find someone that will be able to help you share this burden. And I'm saying you will find someone or you will start uh, having that shared because of the, the Knight of Wands here coming uh, towards you uh, pretty fast with uh, with some changes and and offering you some some help and assistance so the your night uh it's coming here for you or this will be a new beginning on a relationship that if you already have someone like start sharing this this burden sh start sharing the day-to-day -day, uh life anything that you want to to achieve and to and to grow just to start going towards the same uh more into the same direction Right? Or if it's if it's if you are single, this is really a leap of faith with someone that's coming towards you here with this this knight of wands. Someone is coming and is gonna help you, you know, with the burdens with the with your life or something that's going around with you at the moment that you'll actually be helping you out. So take that leap of faith. I mean it's up to you. You do have um, uh, will willpower but uh, it, just so you know it will be there for you if you want to take that leap of faith right and we do have uh, I have other cards here for you which this one is I'll show you here 
it's lovely card the emotions Let's see if I fit them all emotions and I have another card here which is resolution great hope you can see here beautiful cards and um, those cards here really complementing the the tarot cards about uh, this is a time it's an emotional time for you I probably with this ten of wands you're carrying too much at the moment but there will be a resolution so you see there will be this uh, this knight of wands this person coming towards you and uh, to help you out if you want to take the leap of faith or if it's already someone in your life it's a time for resolution to resolve this this uh, period of uh, feeling burdened and feel, feeling that you you're doing too much and carrying too much uh, you know on your shoulders and uh, being able to get to this point of resolution so that's my feeling and we do have another card here which is oh, this lovely message here which is my faith has the power to turn trauma into healing conflict into grow and fear into love beautiful card here I'll, I see I'll leave it here for you to see this lovely card here is really telling you like like an advice really um, regarding an affirmation I'd say for you to remember that if you have faith you have power to turn any anything into healing so maybe there was some trauma something going on here with this um, um, ten of represented by this this ten of wands here you know you're carrying too much uh, more than you than you should really but remember any period of, of troubles that we go through it's really about uh, uh, growing and stepping in stones for you to grow but we do have the power to turn this trauma on this past experience experiences into healing all right and and any conflict uh, is uh, that you could have lived be in the past with this relationship or if in past relationships is really uh, you can turn this into growth and any fear into love so if there is any fear I feel like any fear for this leap of faith here in case you wanted to uh, go for a new relationship or if it's if you wanted to try again in, in your relationship to like give give another try and, and, and a new beginning you can if you have any fear turn this fear into love that's I feel like is the message here for you today because you you can do it you know you if you have faith so ask for the higher powers ask for their help and don't give up there is a, some lovely chances coming towards you and resolution for whatever you are feeling you're going through uh, in September regarding love so that's that's my feeling and I hope this resonates with you if it does let me know group number one this is my feeling for you and I actually think it's a really lovely changing uh, period for you in September regarding regarding love all right so if you if it resonates with you let me know and thank you very much for watching okay thank you if you are in the group number two and you chose this lovely lovely candle I'll leave it here in a side for us I have a mix of uh, tarot cards and oracle cards and just so you know I didn't choose them I prayed on them and you know, let the universe the higher powers choose them for you what I have here the tarot cards I have the Hierophant the six of swords and the eight of wands hope you can see them and if you know anything about tarot cards uh, you know that this here actually represents uh, marriage and uh, more like on a commitment on the um, you know religious side of the cards so if you are married or if you are with someone or single that doesn't matter it's really about what is coming to you so I feel like it's it's a lot of um, something to do with the uh, with marriage and being more serious with someone whether you you if if you're single this means someone is coming towards you I feel like in the, with this eight of one here pretty fast some really fast changing for you 
regarding someone serious uh, in your life that wants a commitment. So what I see here as well uh, with uh, the um, the six of of swords here is really about uh, moving uh, from uh, I'd say to, from a, a hard period, but still taking uh, your your luggages with you. I mean, in a way that. You, you, you grow and you understand uh, what has happened, but you're leaving behind something and you're moving forward. So what I see here is that if you are uh, with someone in a marriage relationship, you're leaving behind something. Uh, it, it could be like the, the marriage itself, or it could be like you're leaving behind a, a period of this time that uh, things were not uh, so, so good but you learn something with that right and if you're single or with just someone you i feel like there is some ser uh, someone serious coming to you regarding marriage they actually want something serious um, long term with you but you will you have learned as well with the six of wands here uh, from past uh, from your past from your previous relationships you have learned but you 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 are moving forward uh, with the growth and the understanding of what has happened to you. Because I see here with the Eight of Wands that something, some fast, really, really fast changes are coming, right? So this here really represents anything to do with uh, uh, someone communicating with you really fast, coming forward and uh, like back and forward, really, really fast changes. So if you have someone already, this could be some real changes in this relationship. Um, and if it's if it's for good now, it will depend of you know your choices. But if you're single, I see some real growth here and understanding regarding marriage, regarding going uh, uh, more forward with someone or having someone coming towards you really serious, really fast. But you have already grown from your past and you're moving forward. You're carrying some of your wounds, but you're also carrying you know your your understanding and your growth from the situation. I wanted to give you two more cards here for um, which is good fortune and nature. I don't know if you can see them. Lovely cards here, so just showing them to you. Good fortune and let me see. Just find these space for all of them. And uh, nature, I feel like that's why I, I I feel like this is this is a really good path in a way of growing and good change in the future because of the good fortune. So there is good fortune. There is some good things coming towards you, and we are talking about September and uh, nature. More uh, going into nature, more uh, going to walks. If you if you're single, maybe that's when you have a chance to meet someone new. If you have someone, why not go out together and do some activities together? That's how I feel like there's a grow. There is like a period of um, good fortune coming, but also a period of healing that uh, needed to come. And it's coming pretty fast. There will be quite few opportunities here. And, um, you know, going out and recharging and, and connecting with the higher powers is always very important and, and very healing and very good for relationship, for yourself yourself alone, anything that um, that you want. And I also have a third card here, which is, um, there is a stream of love supporting my dreams. Okay, this card here, beautiful card. And uh, really showing that if you want, if you want this change, whether you are single or alone, oh sorry, <laughs> single or married, or with someone, doesn't mean married, um, if you have someone, there's, there's some real, real fast changing coming here with these uh, wands, but your dreams are supported. So whether you want to continue with this person if you're already with someone, or if you want something serious, is is really coming to you the with the hierophant here. And uh, if you were single, the changes are coming pretty fast. It's a good fortune. It's a good timing, and just concentrate on what you actually want, because your dreams are supported so it's really up to you if you want this is going to be supported by the higher powers just uh, remember there is love and support towards what you want 
and uh, connect with the higher powers going to nature whether alone or with someone or it's a chance to go like I said with your partner or alone to meet someone is a chance if you meet someone out this really like um, a good uh, indication that you are on the right path and uh, th this would be resonating with you so remember there is love and support for your dreams so never give up on your dreams make sure you you concentrate on them in September there are many good things coming really fast towards you so pay attention to them don't um, don't give up and remember their support and good fortune really good fortune coming to you in September all right and if it resonates with you let me know leave a comment and um, group number two this is what I feel for you this is this is coming pretty fast and it's a very good fortune so your dreams are supported all right that's very good news and um, again leave me a comment let me know thank you very much for your time group number two okay I thank you again group number three if you chose this beautiful gondola from Venice here I'll leave it right here next to us as well So this is your September reading for regarding love and just so you know I did not choose these cards I prayed on them and the higher powers chose them right and what I have here first card is actually the lovers card so if you know anything about tarot you know this is a lovely card here representing the lovers so it's very straightforward we also have the nine of wands here and we have the queen of wands so all the one the ones coming today and I'll just talk about these ones first before I move on to the other cards well whether you're single or you have someone this is very clear love connection is right there for you if you don't have someone yet it's coming towards you in September what I see here it's like this is really really clear this is the lovers card this is a connection this is um, you know it's a love connection if we are talking about love in this in this reading it's really really strong the bond is there if you already have someone if you don't someone really really strong um, you know lover connection is coming to you with the nine of wands here it's really about uh, um, relaxing a little bit you have you have all your your previous I'd say uh, learning experiences and you have them with you it's time to just relax a little bit and and don't give up right so sometimes we just especially if you're single or, or even if you're in, in a married relationship that maybe is not uh, it was not doing so well you you you're fighting and you're going through so much and you kind of um get to a point where there's so much of your of your uh, luggage around you so much of so much has gone on already but it's this card is saying don't give up okay you're so close because the nine is really uh, is near a completion is your your wishes are near are so close and so it's not time to give up okay and um, it's, you can relax a little bit it's time you could you can stop a little bit catch breath and carry on don't give up that's what is in this card really and the the queen of wands is really here to represent um the the strong connections the things that the the lovely uh, things that can come to you now it's really about uh, uh, passion and uh, going for what you want and uh, really really getting getting what you want that's what I'm saying this is really positive regarding love whether you have someone or not this is this some, some something is coming here with this Queen of, of Wands really showing that it's is you shouldn't give up because what you want your wishes are coming true right here all right and I do have uh, other cards here I give you two more which is uh, inner conflict I'll show you them new beginning 
inner conflict all right so i feel like there's some uh, probably with this uh, nine of wands as well inner conflict there's some things that uh, went on and uh, and you know you're bringing from your past and you have gone through so much already um, just don't give up it's really time for a new beginning uh, whether you're already in a relationship or not it's time to restart refresh you know new beginnings um, something new and good is really coming towards you here this is a really beautiful path for for love so it's just a matter of working on on yourself a little bit I feel with this nine of wands and the inner conflict there could still be some conflict some doubts and uh, some fear which is normal right we all go through it especially regarding love and uh, if we have been wounded in the past and uh, this you know we we still afraid many times to to start again with this new beginning but don't give up this card is saying here don't give up work on this inner conflict you know have confidence here is your wish coming true there is a new beginning for you and um there's still so much uh, beauty and love waiting for you doesn't matter if you're single or not it's still always a time to to restart and we do have a a, a last card here for you which is the presence of love will always cast out fear, which is perfect. It goes so much together here with our cards here and everything that we are talking about. It's really, really regarding any past fears, anything, any luggage that you're bringing uh, towards a new relationship or even the same relationship, but uh, so many things have gone on already, maybe with uh, the... Uh, with this marriage this partnership this relationship you already have if you have someone that sometimes we just uh, are tired but remember this is a real connection this is actually a real support co supported connection from the higher powers as you can see here with the lovers card first card that came to us it's really a time to just catch a, a, a break like but don't give up so i'd say work in this while you're in this maybe in a a small period of um, uh, time to meditate and work on yourself okay work in any inner conflict you may have and just remember that uh, um, like this card is saying uh, the presence um, the presence of love will always cast away fear so the love is here already so you can cast away any fear um, go for it new beginnings are here whether you are in a relationship or not so if a new beginning regarding someone new to you or regarding uh, starting again in your relationship all right so this is what i feel here for you group number three if you made it this far i think this is a beautiful time for you in september for regarding love and i wish you all the best okay thanks for watching